Hello everyone! So Tony, are you feeling sad? Would it cheer you up if I told you that you are really special? Mm. Friends, you are very special too by the way. For example, because you decided to watch our video and learn something new. But I want to tell you about some very rare features of your body, which are found only in a few percent of people on the planet. Watch carefully, maybe you are also one of these super people. Be sure to let us know in the comments. Let's go! I think you've all heard of a disease called osteoporosis. It is called by a single gene mutation and is accompanied by brittle bones. However, it turns out that there was another type of mutation in the same gene. It gives people super dense bones that are almost impossible to break. It also gives people skin that is less susceptible to aging. Next up is a mutation known as golden blood. Of course, it is not literally gold. However, it is a type of blood with a very rare peculiarity. It contains no RH antigens. It was first discovered in 1961 in an Australian Aboriginal woman, and currently only about 40 people are known to have this type of blood. Nine of them are donors, and incredibly valuable ones, because their blood is suitable for absolutely any person. It is because of this value and rarity that this blood is known as golden blood. The next feature is one you may have already seen. It is a tiny hole right next to the ear. It is known as parotid fistula. It forms during fetal development and is found in about 5% of people. It is a kind of atavism, a reminder that the distant ancestors of all living things once had gills. This opening is often genetically inherited and can be present in one or both ears. You may also have the following feature. This is the palmaris longus muscle. It is a legacy of our ancestors and is responsible for releasing the claws and enhancing the grip when jumping from tree to tree. It is very easy to check if you have it. Put your hand on a flat surface with the palm up, put your pinky and thumb together, and lift them slightly. If you see a tendon on the wrist, then you are the unique owner of palmaris longus. But if you didn't find it, do not worry, it is absolutely useless in modern life. Tony, pay attention, we're about to talk about a complicated concept. It's known as genetic chimerism. Ancient Greek myths describe a chimera as a creature with a lion's head, a goat's body, and a snake's tail. Of course, a person cannot be half animal, but they may well have two sets of DNA. For example, in the case of an embryo absorbing its twin during intrauterine growth, sometimes this is reflected in the person's appearance in the form of pigmentary mosaicism or multicolored eyes. But more often people have no idea that there are two different sets of genes in their body. Chimerism does not cause any particular concern, but can become a cause of family problems. There was a well-known case when a mother was about to have her children taken away way because the genetic analysis showed that she was not related to them. Fortunately, it turned out that the woman suffered from chimerism, so the actual mother of the children was her absorbed twin, whose DNA was present in her body. The next feature is known as short sleeper syndrome. Perhaps these people are luckier than everyone else on our list. They are able to recover twice as fast as most of us. Among such lucky people were Margaret Thatcher, Salvador Dali, Winston Churchill, Nikola Tesla, and other remarkable people. The reason for this peculiarity is a gene mutation. Researchers at the University of California, San Francisco, have concluded that people with this mutation can complete tasks in less time than others. In other words, they sleep much more efficiently than everyone else. But how they do it is not yet clear. Finally, let's do an experiment. Lock your hands together. Well, there's nothing complicated here. Now pay attention to the way you put your thumbs. They're probably crossed. Easy, easy, that's perfectly normal. What's interesting is that half of the people on the planet place their right thumb on top and half place their left thumb on top. But there is 1% of people who do not cross those fingers, but put them side by side. Tell us in the comments exactly how you put your thumbs and we will try to prove this theory. And if you have any other unique qualities, tell us about them too. We really want to know. The most unusual will be featured in the next video. In the meantime, Tony and I are going to make a new extraordinary video for you. We have to try hard because our subscribers are the most unique people in the world. Bye bye!